Okay, so there's our trailer, NI016. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. We are in Bristol. Um, doing something different again. So, last few videos I've been on containers out of Southampton. Um, that changed yesterday. Uh, yesterday was Monday. I was doing some work for B&Q. I had to go and take an empty trailer up to Manchester. Um, wait for it to get loaded and then bring it back down to Swindon. Nice and easy, not a problem. Started it 10 to 8 in the morning, finished at 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> uh, it wasn't as straightforward as it seemed. Um, uh, as you all know, I hate waiting around, absolutely hate waiting around. So I think the boss put me on B&Q work um, because there's not as much waiting around. Uh, except for yesterday where I got to my destination at 12 o'clock and didn't leave until 6 o'clock. I was there for 6 hours just waiting for a trailer to be loaded. The problem was, there was uh, 3 trucks in front of me, I was the 4th in line and each truck was taking about an hour and a half to sort out. So, um, yeah, absolute nightmare. But never mind, we, we got back in the end, just. I only had like 50 minutes to play with, because I could only work until 10 to 11. But uh, we managed to get home. Uh, Obviously, family were already asleep, already in bed, so didn't really get to see them. Saw them briefly this morning before I left to come to work, and today, because of the late finish yesterday, um, I couldn't do the B&Q work that was scheduled for me today, so I'm now doing the bagging work uh, for today. I don't think I'm doing it continuously or ongoing. I think it's just for today, but we will see, we will see. We are, we're in Bristol. We um, got told that we've got just two runners to do today, and that's it. I was like, happy days, makes up for yesterday. Um, so I phoned them up and I asked them what, they, what it is that needs doing. Uh, we've got a Southmead and a Kiddersminster. Kidder, yeah, Kiddersminster. Both of which are in Bristol, so extremely local. And hopefully, won't take too long. Fingers crossed we'd be done by sort of two o'clock, one o'clock. Happy days! And then I just got a phone call, we've got to go back to Swindon after that and do uh, another run to Swindon. Got to get loaded again out of South Cerny. Um, and I know South Cerny wasn't the quickest when I was there last, but never mind. Why is he shaking his head? Uh, the cyclist is shaking his head, I don't know why. So yeah, we're, um, we're on the bags, we've got three runs scheduled today. Need to try and get it done ASAP, because sort of, I'd like to go in really before five o'clock, but... I think that might be pushing it. We will see, we will see. Anyway, uh, let's go and get loaded and I'll see you in a bit. Right, we just got loaded. This could be fun getting out. Very busy. Not what I was hoping for, considering I want to have a quick day today. It's not going to happen. Got to go back and do a third one for Swindon as well still. Anyway, we're off to Southmead. To a builder's merchants who I will not name. Been there many, 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 many times before. Oh, it's a bit tight. Not too bothered about the trees, it's more the vehicles I'm worried about. Yeah, so uh, a little bit annoying that we've got to do a third run when it's quite busy here. It's not ideal. There's a truck wanting to get in here, but he can't because obviously we want to come out. So he's going to let us straight out. That's good. So all we need to do is give way to the right. Left is clear. Right is clear. Let's go. Ugh. When you'd want to turn right and your truck just doesn't want to turn. Went over the curb as well. I was on full lock then and the truck just wanted to keep going straight. <laughs> oh, I forgot when you're fully loaded, your truck don't like turning. Never mind. 
Right, let's crack on to Southmead. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of in one of those moves today where I just don't care. Just want to get the, the job done, go home. That's what I want to do. So, see you in a bit. Hello everybody, you joined me two days later. Uh, I kind of got a little bit annoyed <laughs> on Tuesday. Uh, I just wasn't really, really feeling up for vlogging, to be honest with you. I just, I wasn't in the best of moods. I wasn't upset or angry or anything like that. I just um, could be bothered to vlog, to be honest with you. Just wanted to drive, get the day over and done with. But never mind, we're here now, two days later. I was gonna vlog yesterday, but I went back to Manchester again. Uh, and I can't remember if I mentioned, but on Monday I went to Manchester. It took four hours to get there. I was waiting for six hours and it took four hours to get back. It's quite boring. There was really nothing to see or do. So uh, that's the reason I didn't record anything yesterday. And yesterday was exactly the same. It took four hours to, got, to get there. Got there for nine o'clock. Didn't leave till six, uh, three o'clock. So that's six hours. Didn't get back uh, here until seven o'clock. So another four hours back. So I didn't record yesterday either. So today we are recording. We're not doing the day's bag and work today. We're back in the B&Q again. We've got to go pick up a trailer. We're on our way to um, our, our RCC. I think it's RCC. To go grab a trailer. Um, don't know what trailer it is. Uh, we've got to take it to Romford. And I've been told that it's a, a very, very easy drop. Apparently you drive in, you drive out. Uh, there's two in Romford, so as long as it's that one. The other one doesn't look too hard either, but we'll see. So we are, uh, we're just on our way now to go grab the trailer. And uh, yeah. Once I got it, we can then uh, carry on. See you in a bit. Okay, so there's our trailer, NI016. That's what we need. Uh, 4.8 meters. Third one from the end. Right. We are hitched up. Just got to put the number plate on, put the seals on, and then uh, we're good to go. Trailer's all sealed up. What will be. I mean, all strapped up. Uh, it's driver's responsibility to make sure that um, all the curtains are done up and everything, so I've done that. Just got to put these seals on now. One on this side, when I can find the out. No pun intended there. That's it. And then uh, could do one on this side as well. Lovely jubbly. Right, that's all done. So straps are all strapped up, seals are on, kingpin is in, twist no, not twist lock, I'm thinking about containers there. Kingpin is in. Dog clip is in. Thought I had a double. I have, thought I had a few clips then. They're off. Uh, one thing to note that this is a, a Northern Ireland trailer. It's got ferry lashing points. Never seen that on a trailer before. So uh, they had to give me the dirty one, didn't they? <laughs> I get the dirty one. Right, let's, uh, let's go fill some paperwork out and then we can leave. It's been a roller coaster, but you stayed And now I'm taking over for the day Cause I can be what you wanna be And I can feel what you love for me Take me to a place I'm calling for Open up the doors, I'm knocking on no oh, oh, oh. I'm losing control oh, oh. Currently, uh, we're not too far away. Uh, about 45 minutes, 50 minutes, something like that. So, uh, yeah, it's good. Well, the the place we are going to is the easier one. Is the one where you sort of drive round at the back into a gate, unload, and then drive back out again. Drive in, drive out, basically. Looks very easy, very simple. Uh, 
Booking time is 11 a.m. Our ETA is 10 a.m. So we will be an hour early. Uh, and it's kind of, with, with the B&Q work, it's touch and go. Sometimes they let you in. Sometimes they go, nah, mate, you're not booked in till 11. Uh, park up around the corner, come back in an hour. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's touch and go. But it's only an hour, we're only an hour early, so if they do say you've got to wait, then so be it, get a break in. Not the end of the world at all. Right, can you come in now? Taking a while to overtake that truck. You could have slowed down for me, but never mind. Yeah, we're on, uh, we're on two hours driving now. Like I said, we're about 45 minutes away, so it hasn't taken long to get here. And that's including the 20 minutes it took to get to B&Q in the first place this morning. So, uh, yeah, not long at all. I'm going to get on into lane two, just in case lane one does split off, because we want to go straight on. Yeah. So, yeah, it's going to be... Uh, it's not going to be the best of days today, it's just because it's very simple. Deliver to b &Q, unload, reload with rubbish, come back again. That's all it's going to be. It's not going to be uh, the most entertaining, but uh, it's going to be better than nothing. Better than uh, Monday, better than Wednesday, that's for sure. I'm going to sneeze. Extra! Bless me. Yeah, Monday and Wednesday were terrible doing the b &Q work up to Manchester and back. Not, uh, not best pleased with that. Right, we get back into lane one. I always follow what the signs say. So the signs back there said I need to be in lane two. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be recording tomorrow as well yet. Obviously today's Thursday, tomorrow will be Friday. I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna vlog tomorrow or not. Might do. So you have like two or three days vlog. But um we're we'll across that bridge when we get there. But for now, let's just uh let's carry on, let's get our foot down, get there nice and safe. And uh, we'll be there in about about 45 minutes now. See you in a bit. Right, so we are now just uh, a mile away, pretty much. Just over a mile away from where we need to be. B&Q in Rumford. Ah, so I'm hoping for a relatively quick tip. Wouldn't mind getting home early-ish today. <sighs> oh, excuse me. 50 mile an hour speed limit up ahead doing 45 and speed camera this lane is moving into this lane okay that's a weird layout middle lane goes into one lane normally it's the far lane that goes into the next lane along never mind ah see i've never been never been here before in romford so this is all news to me never delivered to the b&q store in romford either I have a sneaky suspicion that truck's going where I'm going. Just a sneaky suspicion. I don't know why. We are going to get into lane two because we've got to come off in less than a mile. It's about half a mile up the road. Yeah, just over half a mile. But yeah, we're still an hour ahead of our uh, time, Scott, uh, ugh, time schedule. We're supposed to be uh, in at 11 o'clock. I'm pretty sure, actually, somewhere on the paperwork, it used to say arrive within half an hour of your time slot so you could argue they were only half an hour early of our time slot in a way if that makes sense because yeah i could turn up at half past 10. no we're going to be there at 10 o'clock it's not the end of the world hopefully they'll let us straight in <sighs> get you ordered yeah i've i've done b and q work before a few times and uh, normally when you turn up to places normally um, you're straight in normally <laughs> but now I said that is I'm gonna be like five in the queue or something <laughs> oh, dearie 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 I'm doing B&Q work again tomorrow as lot as far as I believe what exactly it is I'm doing I don't know yet I'm hoping it's not another run to Manchester because it's it'd be fine if you got there got loaded and come straight back um, and you were loaded within an hour or two of you turning up but it's not the case you're there for hours literally hours both times six hours which uh yeah wasn't wasn't that best pleased about to be honest with you but never mind it is what it is isn't it that's the part of the job are we going yeah
<sighs> Do it again, look. Middle lane goes into the first lane or lane one. I'm staying in lane two because I'm turning right in a sec. I'm assuming or would have thought that anybody from this area would see that I'm a B&Q truck, B&Q trailer, and they know a B&Q is just up the road, so they would know that I'm turning right. Alright. Start indicating. I see B&Q. That truck is not going where we're going, so that's good. It's nice. Hopefully we'll be the only ones in there. This might be a sharp right-hand turn around these traffic lights. I will stop, because my trade is going to be in the road for a bit. Just trying to have a look. Uh, I think there might be a truck in there actually, I'm not sure. Looks like there could be. If there is, there is, isn't there? Like I said, we're not booked until 11 o'clock anyway, so I don't mind waiting for 45 minutes to an hour, get a break in. Uh, probably get something to eat as well, there's got to be something around here, surely. I think there's a Tesco's up there I can see. Might even just have a wander around B&Q itself. Could do some double sided tape. <laughs> Coming down, turn green. world's longest red lights. <laughs> no reason why, okay, I was gonna say, no reason why my late lights can't go green, but they're going that way. There's a truck behind me as well. Green lights. Yeah, there's a truck behind. Take that a bit wider next time. Um, it doesn't look like there's anything in there now, actually, thinking about it. I'll be able to see in a sec. Yeah, oh yeah, there is a truck in there. I believe I just have to wait in here. Like so. That'll do. Uh, it looks like you just drive in and then drive on out again. Anyway, at least we're here. Right, we're just leaving B&Q now. Uh, before we actually leave, I put my seatbelt on. So we're just coming out. That truck has been there for ages. He turned up just after I did. And I've been here for three hours. <laughs> I got here at 10 o'clock. Um, and it's now 10 past one. So uh, yeah, been here literally just over three hours and that truck i think that guy that kid knows me possibly he's still filming me open up the doors i'm lacking on no oh, 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 oh. i'm losing control oh, oh, oh. um yeah that that truck um turned up literally just after i did so um he's been here just as long as i have what's this looting man doing 
Uh, apparently he was booked in for half past nine but turned up late. Whereas I was booked in for 11 but turned up an hour early. But I turned up first, so they took me first. That kid on the bike, if you watch my vlogs, thank you very much. You're just passing me now, actually. You might want to say hello. No, no you don't. <laughs> right. Let's go. Let's get out of here. We are heading straight back to B&Q Swindon. ETA there is half past three. Which, considering we didn't start work today until half past six, that is good for me. That's nine hours. Well, by the time I get the trade off and get back, we're looking at like less than ten. So, um, yeah, fantastic that is. Looking forward to getting home before sort of half past four. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, just got to find out what we're doing tomorrow. We won't. I won't know that until about half past five, six o'clock tonight. Um, so I've got to wait to find out what I'm doing, which is a little bit annoying, but uh, that can't be helped. It's something to do with whoever plans it, plans it quite late in the afternoon or something. So by the time my boss finds out what I'm doing, and then he tells me what I'm doing, it's, you know, it's getting on quite, quite late in the evening. Never mind, we'll um, get this, get this trailer off, and then go get some fuel, and go back to the yard. So, let's uh, crack a laugh. Show you crave your hands all over me No, oh, oh, oh I'll never let go Right, so we are back in Swindon. We're just literally around the corner now from where we need to be, which is B&Q RCC, I think they call it. There to the right. So, uh, it's very windy out there, let me tell you that. Uh, you definitely feel it with a double-decker trailer on. Very, very windy, very windy. You feel yourself swaying all over the road every now and then. But anyway, we are here. Let's get this trailer off and then go and get some fuel. Mm, pardon me. Now then, I've been doing B&Q work now pretty much every day this week, apart from the one day I did bags. And um, there was, uh, there's, there's never been a queue. Whereas today, there could be a queue. In fact, I can already see there is a queue from here. <laughs> Great. I don't think it'll take too long. Not too long. I do have to make sure I'm not blocking the roundabout there, that's all. Right, they're all moving forward now, so I should have enough room to get in there. That B&Q truck should be about to move, in which case I won't then be blocking the roundabout. There we go. I just got to get past him. As in past this truck here. So we've got to take it nice and wide. Tuck it on in. And there we go. Just got to wait our turn now. Ugh. Right, let's get this trailer off. See you in a bit. Right, trailer is off. We've just got to get signed out by security now. Uh, and then we can get going. The way out is a lot less busier than the way in, so that's good. a bit. Hi mate. Yeah, 
You need the copy? Right, no, I'm good, thanks. Right. Cheers. Right. See you later, bud. <sighs> nice and easy. Takes seconds to get out. Well, when you've got no trailer on any, anyway. If you've got a trailer on, they've got to do a random search, make sure the seals are on and everything. Before I drive off, I better put my seatbelt on. Here we go. Hazard's off. Let's go. Ah, see, now they're blocking up the roundabout, which is something I did not do because I knew it would cause mayhem. Don't block up the roundabout. Car, that car's just gone past. You want to do a full 180 now to get back round. Never mind. Yeah, so got to go get fuel, as I've said now, for like 100th time. Uh, by the time I get fuel and head back to the yard, it should be a roundabout, half past four, 20 to five, something like that. Which, considering I didn't start until seven o'clock this morning, is entirely reasonable. <laughs> like, it's probably the shortest shift I've had for a while. So, uh, that's probably why I'm in a good mood today. <laughs> uh, Monday or Wednesday, man, they were just uh, so annoying. I think I'm getting a reputation online for being a little bit of a moaner. Uh, people are watching this are like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you are. <laughs> I love the job. I love driving. That was orange. I love driving. It's just the waiting around that gets me and the container work was just incredibly boring. I might even be back on it again in a couple of weeks. Who knows? But it's just incredibly boring. There's a lot of waiting around. You're sort of reliant on other people to do stuff for you, like to get you loaded and things, which, I mean, I suppose it doesn't really matter what you do. You are relying on other people, but it's just... You could be at the docks for ages, you could be travelling for ages, and then you could be at your destination for ages, and you're literally maxing out your driving time and your working time. You've got to continuously work it all out. And it's like, even though you're sat on a bay doing nothing for four or five hours, you're not doing nothing. You're continuously working out where you're going to be, when you're going to be there, are you going to have enough time? You've got people in the back jumping up and down on you, and not obviously you, me, but you know, in the trailer, and it's jumpy and it's it's just it's not restful <laughs> do you know what i mean uh and then you've got to get your brakes in as well at some point and it's just a nightmare uh container work is extremely easy don't get me wrong it's not hard work at all it's just incredibly long boring hours which is not for me i would rather be getting out the cab doing something pulling curtains just now at b&q i pulled the curtains back he's like oh, you don't need to pull them back i was like well i want to he goes oh that's all right i can do it I was like, I want to pull the curtains back. It's my trailer, I'm responsible for it. I want to pull the curtains back. I want to get out the cab. I want to do something. I don't just want to sit in the cab, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> moan over. No more moaning. Luke does not moan. <laughs> right, let's go get some fuel. Without you, I remember myself, my name. Forgot about all you tried to change. Right, that's fuel. Done. Now we can crack on back to the yard. We're there in about 10 minutes, which is good. And then we're going to go home. Yeah. Right, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't actually know what I'm doing yet, but uh, when I know, I'll let you know. See you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It is the next day, it's Friday, we are at B&Q right now. Uh, we've just come through the security gate, so I need to go and uh, go to, uh, where, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, <laughs> too early in the morning. I've got to go get my paperwork to where I'm going. I've got to go to Abingdon first thing in the morning. Oh, by the way, I should probably mention it's 20 to 4 in the morning right now. It's a very early start got to go to Abingdon and I've had a look on the map and it looks like that they don't have a goods in area looks like um, you've got to reverse in off the road into the main car park that's what it looks like so that'd be fun and then after Abingdon we've got to go to another place near Luton some, something Garden City I can't remember exactly what it was now Welvin Welvin Garden City it's near Luton so that'll be around the M25, so we've got a multi-drop today, two stores. Uh, um, 
hopefully we'll only be at each store for about 45 minutes ish which won't be too bad but uh yeah so i'm gonna go get the paperwork sorted out because i need to get out of here as soon as possible really so i can't be messing around recording i need to get going so i'll see you in a bit um <coughs> so the delivery that i was told i was doing <coughs> i'm not doing <laughs> Apparently it was allocated to one of their own drivers and uh, not me, so I don't know why that information has been passed on to me. Instead, they had to find me another load and I'm doing a Watford. We're on our way to Watford. Um, it's actually good news for me, I think, because rather than doing two stores, I've only got to do the one store. So it's, A, it's a lot easier uh, and probably quicker as well, because I think that Garden City place I was going to is not too far away from Watford. But obviously I have to go to another store first in Abingdon before I went there. Whereas now I'm just going straight there, do you know what I mean? So I'm saving a bit of time. Um, going to ETA is half past six, but we're not actually booked in until eight o'clock. So we're an hour and a half early. <laughs> um, so I don't know what to do. Obviously I don't need a break or anything, I've only just started. So a bit of a problem. Anyway, let's get signed out by security and then we can crack on. Thank you, mate. Have a good day. Right. Now good to go. Let's take that off. Yeah, so it's a two hour drive pretty much there. But uh, we're, we're mega early, so I need to decide on the way what we're actually doing. Also, the M4 might be shut towards the M25, so I might need to take a detour up to Reading and around or, or something. We'll see what the, what the signs say when we get on the motorway. Ah. Well, today's Friday, obviously, so I don't think it's going to be too bad today. Hopefully. We've booked in for eight o'clock at this place, so assuming it takes three hours, which is a long time to get tipped, nine, ten, eleven o'clock, and then two hours back. Twelve, one. Let's say two to be a uh, push. So I should be back by two o'clock this afternoon. If all goes to plan. But now I said that, it probably ain't gonna happen, is it? Right, so it is now almost 10 past six in the morning. We are one hour and 50 minutes early. <laughs> so there's a good chance they're gonna tell us to go away, but there's a chance they may offload us. So if they can offload us straight away, then that's the bonus. We're gonna get home well early if that's the case, but we will see. Um, I've, I looked at the maps before I left and um, there's like a service road, so I can either stop in the service road before you get into the B&Q car park, or I can drive straight into the Goods Inn area, which is like quite a narrow with stuff either side of you. So I need to wait and see. So I've got to go under these arches. Apparently you've got to go under two, but I don't think that was the first one, if that makes sense. I'm gonna go left here. Yeah, we've got to go into another two more yet. This place has got a load of roundabouts with like... I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but yeah, if you stay left, obviously you get there quicker rather than having to go to the roundabout is what I'm trying to say. Ah, it's too early in the morning. Oh, yesterday, uh, George spotted me in Romford. Just wanted to say his name in the vlog. So cheers for coming and meeting me, George. He sent me a message while I was actually at B&Q saying um, that he's going to come and see me. Can he come and say hi? And I didn't see the message until I got back uh, to Swindon b and I didn't check my phone. So, um, yeah, sorry, buddy. I 
even if I could stop and say hi, I would have, but I, I couldn't. Even if I did see a message, I wouldn't have been able to say stop. Wouldn't have been able to stop and say hi. Uh, it's a secure area, and um, I got stuff on board. They were, they don't like the truck stopping, if that makes sense. That's why I've not stopped at services, which is why I've uh, come straight here. Right, anyway, there's the B&Q store. Is it this right we're taking? No, not this right. That's the car park. They specifically said, do not get the car park. <laughs> we need to take a right round here. But yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry, George. I couldn't. I didn't see your message yesterday. I would have said. I would have stopped and said hi if I could, but I couldn't. So never mind. But uh, cheers for getting the video. I put. I've obviously put the video in the vlog as well. Right. Come on then. Turn green. <laughs> We've got to go around the other side of the B and Q store. Um. And like I said, there's like a service road. It's like, um, basically, the, the, the turning I got to take is too sharp. So there's a service road that cuts straight across, and I could potentially park in the service road, or I could park, go, go, yeah, you'll see, you'll see in a sec. <laughs> Boys, why, why bother explaining there when you can see in a second? Right, so I've got to go into the arches twice. So this is the first arch to get in the right lane because we're not going left. Again, we don't want to go in the car park. It's a massive car park. Under the second arch and uh, end here. So I was going to stop in the service road, but I'll be blocking everybody. So, yeah, I'm just going to drive straight down. Hopefully they... It's like two separate buildings. B&Q's got two separate buildings. Yeah, we're just going to... We're, we're, we're two hours early almost, so we're just going to park in here. Right. I'm gonna have to turn that GoPro off because I shouldn't really film while in yards and stuff. <clears throat> One thing I will say about being cube places is that all the yards are like proper secured. Razor wiring and like the fences are so high with like razor, like I said, razor wiring on the top. You, you couldn't, a mouse couldn't fit through it. <laughs> it's so small. Right. Um, I guess we just wait now. Could be waiting here for a while, but never mind. <sighs> okay, so situation report. We are now in. Uh, it's taken two hours to get in. Um, they come out to me eventually, and they were like, oh, we've got to do some stuff. We're a little bit busy this morning. Do you mind waiting? And I said, no, I don't mind waiting at all. So it's not booked into eight o'clock anyway, so as long as you're okay with me waiting here until eight, I'll wait here. And they, and they said, yeah, that's fine. I said, all right, so yeah, do what you got to do and uh, give us a shout when you want us in. And they called us in literally five minutes ago. It's five past eight now, so they, they called us in dead on time. Which is fine. I've got no problems with that, because even if I'm here for three hours, three hours, that would be nine, ten, eleven o'clock, and then it's just over two hour drive back. So I'll be back by about half past one. Easy. <laughs> Drop the trailer, go back to my yard for two o'clock. Easy day. <laughs> That's if I'm here for three hours. Um, fingers crossed I'm out in like one or two. So yeah, that's the situation report at the moment. Uh, I will catch up with you when we're leaving. Like I said, it's just gone eight o'clock now. But hopefully we leave in before 11. Yeah, hopefully before 11. Right, so we are just leaving. It's very tight and I've got to watch this left side as well. Apparently cars come flying around here, so I've been told. I can barely see. Full clip.
Yeah, it was clear and the car still come flying around. Anyway, we're out of here. We are, uh, it's 10 o'clock. So a little bit faster than expected. Um, the guy kept saying, sorry, sorry to keep sorry to keep you, sorry to keep you. I was like, mate, it's fine. Like I've been, everywhere I've been this week, I've just been held up. I said, don't worry about it. I said, I might've been here since six and it's 10 o'clock, you know, it's four hours, but like I wasn't booked until eight. So it's only taken two. <laughs> I said, don't worry about it, mate, it's fine. I said, I'm still going to be back before lunch, uh, which I am. My ETA back to the yard, uh, back to B&Q is uh, 10 to 12. So that's fantastic. Don't know whether that rigid was getting stuck there then or not. Yeah, 10 to 12 ETA back to the yard, or back to B&Q. Time to get the trailer off and uh, back into my actual yard, it's going to be like half past 12. Nice. Um, Got to wash the truck as well. Two cars, any more cars want to come all the way around? No. Yeah, I've got to wash the truck as well before I go. Hopefully the guy who's normally on the wash isn't actually on the jet wash when I get back. But uh, we won't, obviously won't know that until we actually get back, so. Never mind. Right, I might need the right hand side lane here because we're going right at the roundabout and I'm not sure if the left lane goes right, if that makes sense. I've said this before, some lanes if you're in the left lane, we'll also go right, and some don't. It looks like the left lane will go right. It does look like it. But I'm in the right lane anyway, just in case. Don't want to be changing lanes on a roundabout, especially in an Arctic. We're indicating right. We're double checking it's all clear. It is. Thought that car was coming round then for a second. Take it nice and wide, get the trailer round. Start indicating a left because this lane goes into one. Make sure there's no one down the inside of me. There isn't. Excellent. And then we need to get into the left lane. There we go. Although we're going right again at the next roundabout. <laughs> ah, I was saying earlier to uh, to a mate, a family friend of mine, my dad's mate. I said they said it's not been a bad week. It's, I've had long hours, but hasn't been a, a terribly bad week. I don't know. It's on and off. It's better than the containers. I'm not a fan of containers, as we all know. But uh, I'm, just, I'm just glad I'm driving a bit more, to be honest with you. That's what I miss, it's the driving. It's the waiting around I don't really like. Driving is absolutely fine. Now, talking of driving, let's crack on. It's only an hour, 45 minutes till we're back. <laughs> what a day today's turned out to be. Awesome. Car down the left hand side of me and the right hand side of me. Just make sure I don't actually hit anyone. It's all good. Right, let's go. See you in a bit. Right, we're back in Swindon. We're on the A419. Just about to come off in about a mile's time. Uh, and then we need to get this trailer dropped. Get it off. We need to leave ASAP. Uh, the ETA when we left uh, Watford was 10 to 12 still 10 to 12 we're it's quarter to 12 right now we'll be there in five minutes so happy days happy days been talking to kev t scott andrews and they're on the uh on the phone saying oh yeah you're gonna get back in the yard before 12 your boss is gonna ask you to go and do something and i'm like no 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 you won't i'm hoping he doesn't <laughs> i want to get back to the yard asap uh wash the truck well, then i need to go and get some fuel put in my car and then i might treat my girlfriend to a cheeky mcdonald's She's at home working right now. She'll have kids at home asleep and it's obviously her lunchtime. I'm hoping she's not gonna have any lunch. Ah, uh, we've caught this truck at a really weird time. You've got to come off in like 700 yards. And you've got enough room to overtake him. Oh, he's going my way as well. So yesterday we uh, turned up to B&Q and there were trucks queuing to get uh, in, weren't there? Yeah, we were, we were on the roundabout. And then we just managed to get off the roundabout just in time. And on the way out, yeah, I remember now, on the way out, there were a load of vehicles literally queuing up around the roundabout. So, the question is, will we be queuing up or will we go straight in? That is the question. 
really happy actually that I'm not I'm not doing the original plan because the original plan, as I mentioned earlier, was to do um, what was it? Is an Abingdon. So I had to be at Abingdon for something like five, six in the morning. Tip me in the car park because there was no goods in area. Because um, I read, I actually when you go to, when you go to B and Q, they they got like a filing cabinet with all the stores, every single one, and it gives you it's on a naval bit of paper. It gives you a detailed report on how to get there, where to go when you're actually there, uh, i.e. where the goods in is and stuff like that, and what you've got to do. It's actually fantastic. B and Q is the best company I've worked for in terms of telling you where you got to go, uh, where you will be parking, how you get there, are there low bridges. You've got to think a lot of double, uh, a lot of B and Q trailers are double deckers, so they are like 4.8, 4.9 meters, like the one I got. It's 4.8 right now. So you've got to be careful of bridges, and um, B and Q make it quite clear if there's low bridges on the on the uh, the store. It will say warning there is a low bridge or warning there is a, an access um, problem. The one I just been to, it said warning. It is a blind side to drive out uh, on a bend. Take take care. So that's how I knew it was going to be tight because it said on the bit of paper. I've actually got the bit of paper here somewhere. Um, so yeah, being here by far the best company to work for, I believe, so far that I've worked for, in terms of telling you where to go. What was I saying anyway? Oh yeah, the day. Um, I reckon if I did the original day, Abingdon, and then to the place I had to go, I'd probably st still be at that place. So um, I think I think today has been very good get into the right hand side lane it's all clear no one's on the roundabout and no one is queuing up we are going to be the first one or we're going to be in there is a car on the roundabout which is going to make going around it difficult i'm going to take a wider turn now just to get around it it's all clear all clear good right i don't want to get in trouble for filming inside so um i'll see you in a bit Right. We are done. Done and dusted. Before we drive off, uh, take my coat off. Dump that over there. Put the seat back on. Window up. Steering wheel down. Let's go. Ah. Oh. Done for another week. Let's miss that plate. So we got here at 10 to one. It's now five past 12. <laughs> no, 10 to 12, sorry. We got here at 10, 10 to 12, not 10 to one. I'm thinking what? Gone back in time? Yeah, we got here at 10 to 12. We're now leaving at five past 12. Literally in and out of 15 minutes. Past security, everything. Oh my God. That was amazing, nice and fast. Normally, right, they ask me on security what my name is, and I obviously tell them it's Luke. Nine out of 10 times they put L-U-C-K, um, you know, luck. Anyway, you've got, it's a bit of a process. I'm not gonna bore you with the ins and outs exactly of what you gotta do, but you gotta go through security. They tell you where to put the trailer, you drop the trailer, and then you gotta go to debrief. Get your paperwork signed, get a photocopy, a photocopy for myself. And, uh, and then off you go. But um, they asked me what my name was there. Well, the, the lady did anyway. I said, Luke. And she, she, in her head, she looked like she was struggling. So I said, L-U-K-E. She goes, I know how to spell it. <laughs> I said, oh, sorry. Uh, a, a few people don't know how to spell my name. She goes, really? It's easy. I was like, yeah, a lot of people spell it L-U-C-K. So then she's there in her head. She goes, luck? I was like, yeah, that's what people normally spell it. So um, that was quite funny. She, uh, I think she was not feeling very well. She said she was ill. But on the way out, I said, have a good day, have a good weekend, bye. Being really nice and polite. She was nice and polite back. Anyway, it's Friday. It's Friday and it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm finishing work, baby! Um, I don't know why I said earlier that it's been a relatively easy week, because it hasn't, because two days were like 15 hour shifts and I was getting to the point where I was like, Six hours waiting, and yeah, this isn't ideal. This week's, this week's been mediocre, mediocre at best. Could be better, but it could be worse. It's been all right. The B and Q work is all right. I, I quite enjoy the B and Q work, to be honest with you. 
sometimes it can be an early start like this morning was relatively early but then you finish relatively early so the swings around about isn't it on a friday it's nice finishing early if it was a wednesday or something like that I would be less inclined to finish early because my girlfriend still works. It's a broken down car there, that's why I'm moving over. Back over we go. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, I haven't got anything to say or any news to say before I go. Nothing really major is coming up soon. I mean, Talk First is happening in a couple of months, but that's a couple of months away. It's ages away. Um, uh, oh, I, I am working closely with some other companies at the moment. I've got like four or five companies I'm working with at the moment. So expect to see some sort of cross-promotional videos soon. Me advertising products and stuff like that. It's just, you know, they, they ask for a shout-out, I get stuff in return. That's my mate, Craig. <laughs> he's going to be happy that he's in the vlog. In fact, he's probably going to call me any second now just to say, All right, all right! But I won't answer because I'm I'm talking to you guys. Um, yeah. So what's I saying? I can't remember what I was saying now. Genuinely can't remember what I was saying. I got sidetracked. Early finish. Chuck best. Oh, companies. Yeah, I'm working with a few companies. So obviously working with DAF. Uh, working with a water company at the moment. Uh, there's a there's this thing going on where we're trying to get com companies like fueling stations, petrol stations to have free water to refill um, like aluminium bottles rather than buying plastic water bottles and then them get thrown out is to reduce plastic waste and things like that uh, so look out for some stuff like that I've got some bags to review from Cuba uh, there's a company that uh, are sending me to go drive um, Optimus Prime American truck in return for uh, some cross promotional um, talk about their, their, their business basically it's really good business I'll talk about it more in the future but they pair employees with employers. It's a bit like a dating website. You tell them what you want, they match you with an employer. Uh, pretty good, actually. Checked out, really good. And there is another company that I'm forgetting about, which doesn't sound good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm working with a few companies. So yeah, watch this space. Thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. I will see you soon. Until then, drive safe. Bye-bye.